Uh, hello there, YouTubers. Um, I've been asked a question from Doug um, just a few moments ago on YouTube as a, re a response to a video I reposted, and he was asking about my sold new solar sucker. This is the one. Um, this is not my original one. I don't know where that went. Um, I had another one very similar to this, and. <clears throat> I used oil in it to help to get rid of the um, solder so it wouldn't stick to the insides and of course that um, hampered the suction on it but I was able to use it for quite some time before I got fed up with it and then I bought a new one which was this one and then I saw um, not that long ago a radio TV phone on it um, using this type uh, and this is a um, so it says on it plus kit dp 366p desoldering pump um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the tripod up so that um, i can show you because i obviously need more than one pair of hands for this so let's go and get the uh tripod it won't be long and there it is right I didn't realise it's been waffling on the um, camera wasn't turned on. <clears throat> so just wait for my irons to warm up. Um, while we're waiting, I just wanted to show you these resistors that, um, and components that I've already removed. Um, I've been keeping them all. The resistors and capacitors and stuff. And these Hunts um, capacitors, I mean, they would have been okay when uh, the radio was new. Um, but... Um, they certainly haven't um, aged very well. They're terrible. Um, every one I've come across so far has been off value. And God knows what it's doing to the circuit. So I'm glad I removed them. Um, I'm going to remove all of them. But the trouble is, um, the capacitors I'm replacing with, even though they're the correct value, and you need to have it so that you can see what the values are. They're that small that I have to extend the wires and you can't see what the value on them anyway you know I mean with my eyes and the way they are and the, uh, wearing glasses and stuff I can't see what the values of these are you know so um, if anybody wanted to come in here and look at this they're going to have to get the schematic to find what the um, capacitors are because as I say there's not a lot of information on them they're tiny little things um, ideally, I would like to see if I could uh, get in hold of um, a range of capacitors with the longer leads, but um, you know, I can't find anything, so it has to make use of what we've got. And I'll just put all these back in there. Uh, iron should be warm enough by now. Uh, let's see if we can set up a demo of this, um, this apparatus, as it were. Right, okay. Uh, should should have it sorted out now. Right, so if we can try and get this camera set up so we can see better. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but um, we're looking at this capacitor here. I'm just going to desolder one end of it. Um, because we've got another three parts to release for this radio yet, so I'm going to I'm going to remove the solder off this this point here. I just don't know how I'm going to do it with, without um, getting my hands in the way. That's one of the reasons why I stopped using the tripod. So let's have a go and see what we can do. I'm trying it once. So we'll get our bigger iron out. This is the 18 watt one with a big bit on it. Prime it with some solder. I just don't know if we're going to be able to see this or not uh, without my hands getting in the way. I 
if you've seen that or not. I don't know if you can see that or not. And when you get the solder, uh, you see the solder come out there? No. That's not really going to work, is it? It's taken nearly all the solder off of that. But, um, I don't think that's really going to work as a demonstration, so we'll have to see if we can do something better. Hang on, let's see if I can set something else up. Alright, we'll try it this way then. Melting some solder on the bench, see what that does. Quite a big bit of solder there. It's taken all that. Now the other, the other solder sucker, uh, which is this type. Get a bit more solder. I don't like wasting solder about this, but um, okay. does about the same thing but um, I just find the other one better because the cylinder on this one is a lot smaller than the cylinder on that one it's quite a big difference in the size which is awkward to do a demonstration um, yeah it's very very awkward So like I say, that's um, that's the two that I use now, and um, the end comes off if you, if you get it too too much solder in there. I'm going to show you something else now. 